Hi, I'm Josh, and this is Cars and Joshy. Welcome to Cars and Joshy. It's a beautiful 64 degrees and sunny here in Texas, and I have something super planned. So I am charged up and ready to go. Let me show you what I got in store. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Look at that. Kong Performance port job on the LSA. We're gonna get it unboxed and we're gonna get it stabbed today. The Kong Performance CNC ported supercharger and snout. Now this supercharger has been ported the whole snout has been ported and the supercharger has been ported internally all the way up to the rotors. I mean you can see it's ported all the way down back there to the rotors. Nice job. We'll see if I can get a better view down in here into the supercharger with this. That line of silicone right there is where the snout ends. So the snout stops there, but you can see the porting continues on and on and on. And there's your rotors right there. And you can see all of that porting in there. Smooth as can be. You can see the difference between the porting and the non-porting. Go ahead and show you side by side here. I also went ahead and upgraded my pulley. It had the factory pulley on there. I went to 2.45 Grip Tech. I'm going to go ahead and prep this to get installed. I need to get these rivets out before I go to install. When I send this off to Con, they ask for all the sensors and, and gaskets and stuff to be removed. Um, so I just quickly removed the gaskets last time to send it off, but I didn't get the rivets, all the rivets out. So I'm gonna go ahead and take those out now. What I'm using is a left hand drill bit extractor set. So I didn't have the right size rivet for this, so I had to run to the store and pick up some. Alright, I found something I can use to catch the oil. And it actually has ounces built right on it. I'll wash them before I give my kids any milk out of them. I'm just kidding, y'all. They're, they're done with bottles. That is a 3 sixteenths. Alright, so I let it drain for a little while and uh, got about two to two and a half ounces here on there, but it doesn't really matter because I drained it all. Now I'm just going to fill it back up and got two bottles of this I'm not sure how much it takes I think like six ounces or something like that each one of these bottles is four ounces so I'm just gonna fill it up until till it starts running out of here just like you do on a rear end or something Plug it back up. And this thing has an o ring seal on it, so go ahead and plug that up. Basically, took one, one full bottle. Something about these gaskets, or actually the supercharger itself, has this little alignment dowel on it. The LSA heads, they have this divot on the head side for aligning. I'm using the 317 heads from a LQ9, just factory heads. 
so I don't have that alignment pin. A lot of people break this off, but since I have to use adapter plates and I got my adapter plates second hand, somebody had, whoever had it before me, actually drilled out the adapter plate. So I'm kind of glad they did that because now I can throw these adapter plates on and instead of fishing around for the holes for the bolts now I can align it up with the with the dowel and it should hold it there so I can get the bolts put in I got some bright stuff gray permatex that's what I'm gonna use I'm just gonna kinda outline the intake ports and the heads and then I'll set the adapter plates down there Making sure all the holes clear. Yep. All right, so we're looking at the bypass valve here for the throttle plate that's inside the blower. Let me show you that real quick. You might be able to see it. Yep, right there. See that there? So basically, wide open throttle, full boost sitting at idle part throttle that's how that throttle plate works and this little actuator vacuum actuator hooks into here and what happens is when you get vacuum sitting at idle pushes that valve in opens up that throttle plate or actually the vacuum pulls this this plunger in and opens up that throttle plate when you're at wide open throttle you don't have any vacuum so it's wide open and so this piece that goes on here is hooks into the factory computer and stuff for a CTSV we don't need that in this case so what I'm gonna end up doing is there's a set screw on here right here and it takes a little tiny 330 seconds allen wrench and this little piece on this throttle blade bracket is supposed to butt up against that that set screw so as soon as that throttle blade fully closes so I need to adjust this set screw and then tighten down this actuator on here Since I'm not using this anymore, I'm rerouting this vacuum hose. So basically I'm sending it from this actuator over to boost. So what happens is along with the spring pressure that's inside here, there's boost coming here, pressing, holding this throttle body closed. When I come off of boost, the vacuum causes this to open up so that's how that works and I'm just gonna go ahead and put a cap on the pre boost port right here and then let this vent to atmosphere the other thing I'm thinking about doing is putting a T on here and running a line to a boost gauge but I'll figure that out later I'm not sure if this is going to work or not, but I have this idea of heating this tube up right here and then see if I can't twist it, rotate it maybe. 
I might just crack and break the tube, but we're going to try. Nope, I'm going to have to take it off. It's hitting. Alignment Dell worked up awesome. All right, so it's 44 inch pounds on the first pass and then 89 inch pounds on the second pass. Have a good look at this thing. Ooh, look at that opening. Hub style grip tech. One of the coolest logo for any performance shop out there. 2.45 pulley. Get that lid put on there. Clearly I'm not in the state of firing it up and letting you listen to it. So I'm going to cover this up with some tape until I get my throttle body. Okay, so there it is with the lid. Kong ported LSA snout and supercharger with the lid install. Y'all please like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell for new videos. Thanks for watching Cars and Joshy. Josh out.